The Sandia Mountains in New Mexico are a challenge for climbers. The granite faces are notoriously unstable. It's a little steep here. Mark was in front, and I lost my footing just a little. And by instinct, to catch myself, I reached over and put my hands on the wall. And that's when all hell broke loose. The wall essentially came off in my hands. This thing was huge. And how it didn't crush him to death, I don't know. But I, I just watched him, and I couldn't believe he was actually still alive. Sinjin is trapped underneath. The slab of rock is heavy enough to crush his ribs, but he's just able to use his arm muscles to hold it off. What's worse, he's landed on a sloping ledge. He's now sliding toward a high cliff and certain death. He's stunned and in shock, but his body has already shifted into overdrive. Any chance Sinjin has of survival depends on what's locked in the muscles of his arms, chest, and shoulders. But how can his muscles move something so massive? Muscle tissue works by contracting, pulling on the bone, using it like a lever. These contractions take place at a microscopic level. Each of Sinjin's muscles is made up of thousands of individual fibers, bundled together like the wires of cables. Though they may get bigger or smaller through life, we're born with every muscle fiber we'll ever have. Within each fiber are yet smaller filaments. To activate the muscle, chemical triggers cause filaments next to each other to ratchet together, intermeshing like locking fingers. As they slide past each other, the whole muscle fiber gets shorter. These contractions are responsible for all our muscle movement. Even when exerting ourselves, most of us only use about a third of the fibers in our muscles at any one time. But if Sinjin's to live, with the cliff edge fast approaching, he will have to heave a rock weighing more than half a ton. In such extreme danger, he, like the rest of us, is able to do something that normally would be impossible. He's unleashed all the power in his muscles. Sinjin heaved a rock weighing 1,200 pounds.